Okay, uh, do you want to get better? Do you? Do you really? Because today we are going to do that whether you like it or not. Let's go. All right, thanks for tuning in. I'm excited because today we're going to drop our score. We're going to change our score by five strokes. Hopefully it's for the better. I think it is. Um, but here's what, here's what we're going to do because if you, if you want to get better, if you want to change your score, you've got to change how you play. Even if it's just for a little while, you have to mix it up because if you keep doing the same thing, you're just going to get stuck and you're never going to be able to break the barrier to lower scores. So today we're going to do that. I'm going to show you how. Whew, it's going to be awesome. And uh, thanks for watching, by the way. Please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. and Hit the bell so you don't miss anything. All the links to the gear recommend, stuff like that. If you see something you like, cool. Uh, links are in the description below. So let's get to it. Here we are on a long par five. 570 some yards. Today, what we're going to do is this. Whatever club you would normally hit in your round of golf today, I'm going to show you how it's done, you are not going to hit that club. So, whatever, wherever you are, you can't hit the club you would normally hit. Here, driver all day, not going to do it because that's, I would normally hit driver here. So driver, I can't play it. No way. So, I will take a three wood and we'll go from there. Little TS3, three wood, 15 degree loft. Uh, everything else is basic. Immediately, what am I feeling like? <clears throat> Long par five. Uh, I have a three wood in my hand on my driver, so my immediate feeling is, ooh, I need to swing harder. Ah, you've got to learn how to push through those feelings and just take a smooth, smooth baby, just normal uh, driving range style swing. Don't try to swing out of your boots, but you're gonna feel that and you want that because you've got to learn how to push through the tough times. Let's go, uh, let's go play. All right, so here we are. And I've got forever in uh, uh, 323 yards to the green. So what would I normally hit here? Um, three wood, would I hit a three wood here, metal? Uh, I mean, a lot of people would. I probably wouldn't because I can't reach the green. So this, I probably shouldn't hit that. So I wouldn't hit that. That wouldn't be wise. So then I would hit my hybrid. Beautiful. So I should hit, but now from this spot, I normally would hit the hybrid and lay it up. But since we're not doing that today, I have to do something different. So I'm going three iron here, this bad boy. And I'm just gonna hit a three iron because that's not what I would normally hit here. That's what you gotta do. It just feels weird being so far away and hitting a three iron. Now I know I'm laying up, but I just feel more, I feel more comfortable with let's say a, a hybrid or something like that in my hands here because it's just our natural tendency to want to be as close as possible to the green. But today's different because we're getting better. You want to improve your game, you got to change it up. And uh, so let's go see where we are and keep, keep, keep the dream alive every shot. All right, uh, 137 to the flag. Normally I would hit a nine iron and flight it in. So the only club I'm not allowed to hit now is the nine iron. I can do whatever I want so, so I'm gonna put that over there. I can hit whatever I want now. You hit your driver here if you want to. But I'm gonna go with the eight iron. Just choke down and take a little bit smoother, shorter swing and try to flight it in there. Um, and see what happens. Here we go. That thing was right at it. It might be a little long, but let's go uh, see if we can do something here. All right, I'm like uh, 30. 40 feet from the flag, so what would I normally do? Hit my, no. On the greens, you, you get to hit your putter, okay? So that's the only time you get to use the club you would normally use. Here, here's what I'm thinking. I had 137 to the flag. I'm 20 yards past the flag, right? 
So I just hit my eight iron, a smooth swing, 157. Uh, with a, that's, man, if the flag was 160 and I took that same smooth swing, I'd have nine feet for birdie. <laughs> that would be pretty good. You want to implant that into here because I just took the smoothest swing possible and it went almost full eight iron distance. So you don't need the big giant swing with all your effort to get good distance. So you got to remember that and you're, you're training this guy up here to know and to learn how and what it can do with very little effort. So uh, something to remember also, uh, here I am in the bunker, Mr. Green, normally I would hit my 60 degree. That's what I play out of the sand. So uh, that's not allowed on this shot. So I'm taking my next wedge, 54 degree, and I'm gonna see, I'm gonna practice, because I can't use the club I would normally use. So I gotta go next one up or down, whatever. Because I have to learn even different feels out of the sand because that's gonna help me overall. My overall game is gonna improve my confidence because I'm doing everything different. All right, it's the way it is today. And then let's say you're in a position like this, normally here, just a little pitch and run up to the green. What would I normally do? Uh, I would probably take either a pitching wedge or a gap wedge or one of those, have some options here, right? Of what I would normally do. So all those options, would I have options where I would say, well, maybe a pitching wedge, maybe a 52, maybe a 54, chip and run. I'm gonna take all those off the table and really go with something I would never do here. Which, and I might even putt this occasionally, depending on the, you know, the speed and the firmness of stuff, but I'm not even gonna do that. So here, I'm going 60 degree, I'm going high. I wouldn't normally do that right here. And that's what you wanna do. Force yourself to really, especially in the short game area, to do things that you would never, never do. All right, so I gotta go high, so now I just, my whole thought process, okay, I'm going high, I gotta carry it farther than I want to, where, you know, and then, man, I'm really tapping into areas I don't normally tap into. Pretty good, like six, eight feet for par. And uh, not bad, not bad. I probably would never play that shot. But again, I'm improving. I'm like, oh wow, maybe I should play that shot. It's okay, when you have to play that shot, now you know you got it. So there you go, that's today's video. How to really drop your, your score by five strokes or change it. Hopefully it goes lower, <laughs> not higher. But overall, you will improve. You will get better. Your scores will get lower if you're willing to spend some time doing things you would not normally do. I'm here for you. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Let me know. Let me know what this does for you. Make your comments down below and I'll see you in the next video.